outer edge of the bat. Let's see how to hold this bat properly. Like that. Now I am going to tell you where to hold the grip. Most of the higher level players also commit this mistake. Before going to the video, please subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. Hi fellows, welcome back to Boys of Cricket Academy. Today's video we are going to see how to grip the bat proper and the common mistake while gripping the bat when you do in the matches as well as in the practice sessions. Okay? A batting grip is very very important in a player's performance. Your grip will give you a lot of confidence. Once your grip is proper, you will feel better in your batting. So, holding the bat proper is very very important. Okay, let's go into the video. To hold the grip proper, you must know about the bat. Okay, the parts of the bat. Okay, so I'll explain from the start. This is called handle. This part which is away from me is called outer edge of the bat. This part which is towards me is inner edge of the bat. And this part is called the sweet spot or the middle, middle of the bat. This part is called the toe. Okay, or the bottom of the bat. Okay, this part in between the outer edge and inner edge and the handle is connected with the bat right this V is called splice of the bat this V is called splice of the bat let's see how to hold this bat properly I explained about the bat okay now I explained so which is your top hand and which is your bottom hand for right handers your left hand is your top hand and your right hand is your bottom hand for left handers your right hand is your top hand and your left hand is your bottom hand okay so you have to hold the bottom hand grip as well as you have to hold the top hand grip proper okay so your top hand grip outer edge of the bat and the splice okay in between the outer edge of the bat and the splice you have to take a V like that bring that feel it feel it and bring it down and hold it fully okay once again I am repeating because which is very very important so outer edge of the bat and the splice of the bat you have to hold it in between like that and bring it down and hold it fully okay you have to close the handle fingers nicely and hold it tight of your top hand okay and your bottom hand in between the outer edge and the inner edge have to take the V so like that in the middle of the bat and hold it like that okay that means the web in between your thumb finger and the pointing finger the gap is there right that will come right on the middle of the splice and hold it like that this is your bottom hand okay so your top hand in between the splice and the outer edge hold it nicely tight and your bottom hand just right on the middle and have a good feel and just start playing let's ch check once I hold the grip properly how it works look at the blade how straight it's coming perfectly straight if I'm going on drive look at that perfectly straight if I'm going off drive look at that it's coming perfectly straight so your grip plays a major role in your batting I taught you how to check the grip now I am going to tell you where to hold the grip okay before that I'll explain this is top of the handle middle of the handle and bottom of the handle okay top of the handle middle of the handle and bottom of the handle the right way to hold the grip is hold the bat in the middle of the handle 
not in the bottom and not on the top okay so always hold in the middle of the handle okay so if you hold in the top what will happen your reach will get better you can for playing lofted shots and all you can hold it in the top of the handle if you hold it in the bottom of the handle your reach is less you can allow the ball and play you can you can play defense and soft hands and you are playing closer to you not going to whack the bat you can hold it little bit down okay so always hold in neutral that means the middle of the handle is the best way to hold the bat okay guys remember one thing there is no shortcut to improve a grip feel soon okay you have to work hard to improve the proper grip okay so there is no shortcut so what you have to do to improve your grip properly so you have to keep checking the grip proper and keep practicing okay grip alone not playing the ball okay so check the grip alone okay keep the bat down take it check the grip shadow okay so keep the feel get the feel okay which is important okay so keep checking without playing the ball keep checking the grip get the feel right okay otherwise you'll never get the feel if somebody is throwing the ball if you check one time and if you play means you'll never get the feel of the bat okay check it alone without playing the ball check the grip 10000 times 10000 times if you practice 10 10000 times the feel you will get whenever you take the bat you'll hold the bat right whenever you hold the bat the grip will be right so for that you have to practice again and again remember there is no shortcut to improve the grip now let's see what are the common mistakes while gripping the bat proper okay a basic student what they will do they feel like boring while doing this drills and all they won't hold the grip proper what they do just they check and they hold somewhere else so whenever you practicing your grip always do with proper focus focus and do it and also have a good feel whenever you checking the grip feel the bat and check it okay feel the bat feel the grip feel the balance always feel the bat and grip the first common mistake is just doing without focus the second the second mistake what most of the people commonly do is like they hold the top hand proper and they create a gap between a top hand and the bottom hand so what will happen if you hold the top hand alone and the bottom hand alone okay the parts will work alone the top hand works alone and the bottom hand works alone always you have to hold the bat together okay the both the hands are together okay if the both the hands are together you have a good control and you have a good feel okay the third common mistake in grip is they'll check the grip proper they hold the grip proper but when they are lifting the bat the grip will change okay when they hold proper but when they are then they tapping and when they are coming to neutral position they change the bottom hand or they change the top hand what will happen if they change the bottom hand towards inwards the bat will get close see if i am holding my bottom hand like that if i bring it the front foot the bat getting close the face is looking that way suppose if they are changing when the neutral position they changing the bottom hand like that away from the inwards so what will happen the bat face to the covers so there is a lot of chance of getting edge there is lot of chance bat part gap if they close the bottom hand okay so when you are gripping the bat when you are tapping when you are in the neutral position also you need a good feel always have a good feel okay always have a good feel while holding the bat next common mistake is feeling the wrong muscle when you are gripping the bat feel the right muscle group that means when you are lifting the bat so in the neutral position your wrist should be locked towards you towards the your forearms towards your forearms okay so when you are lifting the bat this lock should be like that so in the forearms you have to feel the muscle in the 
four arms. Okay. So what will happen? Some players, what they do? They lift it like that. They turn the wrist like that. They hold the grip properly, but they turn the wrist like that. So position will get changed. Okay. Always feel the grip and lock it nicely. Okay. This is the last common mistake that too most of the higher level players also commit this mistake when they are grip proper they hold proper they play proper but still the ball start getting turned if they are driving there the ball will go the grip will change and the ball will go there if they are driving there the grip will change and the ball goes there the problem is in your glove once you play a long session the your hands will get wet the inner part of the gloves will get, get wet okay so because of the sweat the gloves start turning so your gloves are very important to holding the cricket bat proper so if, if it's wet change the other pair of glove if you play with the wet glove there is lot of chance the bat keep turning if you go for a big shots sure you won't finish clear the ground there is lot of edges will happen because your gloves are wet okay so <clears throat> hope you guys learn about batting grip in this video if you like this video share to your friends those who need to understand this and if you have any doubt in this comment below thank you for watching have a good day please subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates